dentist's office. Had a little bit of pain the last few days. I decided this would be a good time to register with a dentist in Gloucester. There's a picture of my mouth. Just got in from the dentist. <laughs> got a bill from the dentist for uh, the work they say that I should have done. Was not prepared <laughs> for the number they've given me. Oh my goodness. Two thousand pounds. <laughs> I thought my teeth were okay. I know they're not perfect, but two grand. I don't give off rich vibes, do I? I mean, look at my hair and clothes. Does she really think I can afford two grand wearing a black t-shirt from Top Man and this hair. That just seems a lot of money. But then, can you put a price on your health? Maybe not. Like, I've had a bit of an ache for the last couple of days. If you've got a spare two grand and you want to spend it on a stranger's dental care, I'm your man. Get in touch. I'll take your money. I'll have the, I'll have the work done. No problem. My mouth is literally not working. I've just been to a different dentist. She did not charge me two grand. This side of her face, I can't feel a thing, cannot feel a thing. So completely numb on that side. Praise the Lord, didn't have to pay two grand to have my teeth done, just um, I think it's 60 quid. If I let my face just relax, this is the pose it, not, it goes to naturally. 60 quid, got my teeth sorted, all thanks to the NHS. <laughs> I sound dreadful. Um, well, a little bit without giving too much away. I've spent the entire day in bed or on the sofa feeling grim. Not great timing. Well, it's never great timing to have the cold, is it? But I hate being ill because I hate sitting around doing nothing. So no exciting content being filmed today unless you consider me being grim on a sofa exciting content, in which case you'll love this. It's two days since you last saw me. The location is very much the same. I'm still on the sofa and I still feel like death. Everything that I was doing this weekend has been cancelled to enable me to rest. And don't be funny and say man flu. That's just not funny. It's not nice and it's sexist. My best friends are toilet roll for blowing my nose, orange juice because orange juice has got vitamin C in it, tablets for getting better, and that's it really, and there's a glass of water over there. Let's see if we can get hashtag pray for ash trending, although by the time I put this video up, I'll probably be better. It's what, five days later now? Six days? I don't know, time has passed. I'm feeling better, and to celebrate, we're going shopping. Cribs Causeway, we're at Cribs Causeway. Which ones do we think are the tackiest? These, it's the sort of thing my nan would have worn back in the day when we were kids to G us all up for Christmas. They literally have the cake that I made in the vlog. Look, look, they have the same. Surely that's a good gift for somebody who likes like um, cookies and sweet stuff. Who could we it? get that for? This has now become Christmas shopping in October, which is probably bad. I like, you know, we're feeding. Who likes chili oil? Me. Your dad. We're feeding the whole putting Christmas stuff out early. Yeah. We're feeding it because we're Christmas shopping right now. I've been tasked with picking out a book for our little niece who's who's turned one. I've narrowed it down to two. Narrowed it down to the classic, the very hungry caterpillar. Everyone loves that one, classic. Or book about Mandela. Open we get this. The wrong clock to freedom. So as per normal, I am stood outside a dressing room waiting for Joe to try on a load of stuff that she's picked out. But it's nice to be out the house to be fair, because uh, for the last week I've just been on the sofa either coughing, sneezing, or holding on to my teeth in pain. So uh, to, to be out is nice. Mm. Go for a boost drink. You, what was your flavour? She's being weird. Joe got like a mango one and I got a berry flavoured one. Very good. Recommend. Would recommend. Would Very have good. again. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, that is cool. Grace would like that. That's cool. To be fair, Grace would like any of this friend's stuff. Oh, come on, look at this. Look at this. How are you doing? Posters. They've got loads of Friends merch. It's weird to see little kids in fr wearing Friends merch. I was literally, do you know what? I was literally just thinking that. Do we think seven year olds watch Friends? They're all wearing like Friends merch t shirts, we were just saying. They do. But do they actually watch it? I don't think they do. If you, if you ask them who Gunther was, do you think they would know? 
these suitcases are up from the garage and I'm sure you can probably guess which suitcase is mine and which one's Joe's. I'm all by myself here today so what I thought I would do is just take a few minutes to pack my hand luggage. Generally if it's a long haul flight I just put the films on. So I don't really need much of my bag but I packed a few bits that I thought we might need. First and foremost copy of the bible. If the plane's going down and I need to have a quick read a quick verse to myself before I die then I've got it so that's important. Got a plaque, got a pack. A pack, not a plaque, got a plaque of playing cards. Me and Joe learned this new card game recently, which we stole from um, Alfie Days and, and, and Zoe Sugg, who were playing it on their YouTube channel. I'm gonna link that video below because the game is so fun. The name is not one that I'm willing to repronounce on my channel. Let's just call it Pooh Head. We learned how to play it uh, by watching their video. So we're gonna take the cards on the flight just in case we fancy a little game of cards. Packet of tissues, I've had a cold recently, so I'm gonna take those. And they're nice and soft, which aren't, isn't, you know, it's not gonna irritate my soft beard, soft skin. So we picked this up the other day. It's like one of those, it's like a retro camera. You remember back in the day when you used to have to go and get your photos developed and you, you had like, how many does this one have? 27 plus 12 extras. So 39, you can take 39 photos on here. And Joe thought that would be kind of fun because quite often, you know, people take photos and they're obsessed with like editing them and all this kind of stuff and it takes up so much time. So Joe's gonna make it her sort of project to just take photos on here. So she's doing 39 photos of our trip on this disposable camera. Um, I'll probably take some digital ones and stuff as well because I'm gonna be, I wanna, you know, I wanna get some good Instagrams. You can't go all the way to New York and not get an Instagram post. This is gonna be Joe's Instagram for the week. So yeah, pick that up. It was only a tenner from um, Urban Outfitters. I've also got this, which has actually got a picture of New York on it. This is a, this is like a charging power pack, which, at the moment, I go everywhere with because I do so because I've started videoing and I'm, I just use an iPhone at the moment to film because I don't really have a better camera than that. So I'm using my phone, which means the battery life is just like drained. I bring this with me everywhere, and actually, I've got a bag. Look at my bag. I can plug this into the inside of my actual bag and then pl simply plug the phone into the bag. So it looks like my bag is the charger, but actually this is inside. Got my headphones there. I've got, uh, are you sure, sure headphones? I actually use these as my in-ear monitors as well when I lead worship, but these are the best headphones I have, so I'm gonna bring those with me as well. I bought this yesterday, I got a little headphone splitter so that if me and Joe wanna listen to the same music or watch the same movie or something, we can split the headphones off and she can plug hers in as well. Got a little plastic wallet here with all of our sort of documents and passports and stuff in, two passports of course. I've also got a packet of Werther's Originals. Got those, oh that was upside down. Mine and Joe's ears go funny when the plane is landing so we like a sweet to suck on so that the decompression, is that the right word? is uh, less harsh on the old on the old ears. So they'll come in very, very handy. The only other thing I've packed thus far, a nice big baggy hoodie. That's like a really big hoodie. And I'm just gonna do this when I get cold on the plane. Just cover myself over. Warmth, it's all about warmth. You know what the air con's like on flights? Sometimes it can be a bit chilly. That's pretty much everything I've packed so far. Like I said, I don't really take much on the plane. I'm not taking a book or anything because they've got so many movies on the plane. They have the movie Rocket Man about the life of Elton John, which I haven't seen yet. And I've been wanting to see that film for so long. So definitely gonna watch that. By the way, if you have any ideas of videos that I can do when I'm out in New York, because I really wanna make the most of being there and get some good content for the channel and stuff, please do send them in to me, send me ideas. Um, of different things that I can do. I've already had lots of ideas. I gave a shout out the other day on my Instagram. Basically, we're going to New York first for five days, just me and Joe, just to have a holiday, have a little break and explore and be tourists and stuff. And then we're gonna travel across to West Virginia. I don't know if it's West Virginia or not, but it's Virginia anyway. So we'll probably sing Country Roads Take Me Home quite a lot when we're there, which means we get to visit uh, Washington DC, which is obviously the capital of the state. And the wedding is in a bit of uh, Virginia that I've never heard of even. So thank you so much for watching this video. It's been a horrible week just kind of lazing about and getting better but the body needed rest so I gave the body rest and now I'm feeling feeling the benefits of that so if you haven't already subscribed the link will be down below thank you for being so kind everybody that I know who I've spoken to about this channel has been so kind and so encouraging so thank you very much bye bye I have more to say we've just come out of a uh, Sunday night church dockside and somebody at church told us that there's a five guys literally that's just opened just around the corner from church so Guess where we are? A little bit of milkshake. What's in this again? She's lost, lost in a Cajun chip moment. We've got these cheese toasty things, which look quite good. They are. No. 
only okay. I would give this a solid... Two out of ten. No, I'd give it a four, because it is still cheese and bread. Mm.